I'm making ice cream because I can. <laughs> I have a really weird, well, no, I have a bunch of weird kids, but one of my weirdest kids adores coffee and she always has. She's loved it all her life. And I was not the one who first introduced her to coffee ice cream. So you can't fuss at me over that. And I will say I make her ice cream with decaf. So no fussing over that. But this is how you get rich, intense, chocolatey, yummy coffee flavor all in one thing. We're doing a French roast coffee chocolate chip ice cream. Okay. And I might just put chocolate syrup on it. All right, so this is how easy this is. Half and half, this is um, half, a cup and a half of heavy cream and a cup and a half of whole milk, which you can use half and half if you want to. That's the same thing. This just happens to be what I had. And I brought it up so where it's almost scalded, not spanked, scalded, okay? <laughs> and two thirds of a cup of sugar. Would you oil that door, please? No. <laughs> so I'm whisking that together. And because I have a couple of kids who love egg white omelets, I always have extra, I'm out of ladles. I always have extra egg yolks to use up. Aw, too bad. You have to make dessert. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to temper these egg yolks with this custard. And you, you know, when you're making ice cream or creme anglaise or a pudding or any combination of milk, egg, and sugar, you know, all you're doing is using egg yolks to richen and thicken a cream sauce, right? Okay, so that's the basis for all of those things. Everything from a, a set custard, like a flan, to um, banana pudding is done off the same principle. And in this case, we're going to use it to make a, a, a vanilla cream sauce that we're then going to freeze. So, see, one, one trip, lots of applications. All right, so tempering egg yolks, or whole eggs, or whatever you want to do. We don't want scrambled egg in our finished dish. That's just yucky. And I'm gonna strain this before I use it. So if we do end up with any little bits, it won't be that big a deal. But what we're gonna do is use the hot cream to bring the temperature of the eggs up slowly. And I'm just gonna pour it down the side of my bowl and do it nice and easy and whisk the whole time. I tell you, the hardest part about making ice cream is waiting on a little insert to freeze in your ice cream maker. I need a second insert so I can just, you know, run that puppy 24 hours a day. <laughs> and most ice cream recipes for the house, you know, if you're going to make homemade stuff, it only makes one or two quarts. And when you've got as many kiddos as I do, that's not much ice cream. So I make a batch. Well, since I got my maker, I've been doing a couple of batches a day. Nobody has told me to quit. All right, so that's about right. You want to you want to get it nice and light like that. Now we're going to put this back in here and continue whisking. We leave this on a medium high heat, medium to medium high. You don't want it too hot. And we're going to stir and cook until it coats the back of the spoon. What are you trying to tell me? Is that boiling away? Is that what you wanted? You doing something else? Okay, I'm sorry. I have a, I have a camera guy with attitude. <laughs> so we're going to stir this. It's going to thicken. And then we're going to be able to tell it's done. That's the wrong spoon. I'll find the right spoon and come back and show you how to tell when it's done. <laughs> all right, I want to show you this real quick. First of all, I forgot my pinch of salt. Okay. But secondly, yes, I know it's still the wrong spoon. And I'm not sure what that's for. All right, you see how that looks? And you can't really tell that, you know, my finger moved through it. It's still thin enough that it's not coating, really. See? Now, I'm going to come back in just a couple minutes. I'm going to show you the difference. It's small, but it's really important. So, listen to me. Okay, we got there. Now, come over here and look. All right, you see, you can tell. I hope you can see, but you can tell it's thicker right there. That's where the egg yolks kind of made everybody happy. And they all came together. All right, now here's the other thing about coating the back of a spoon. And you see this? It's gonna be hot and I'm gonna burn my finger. Wah! Yep, I burned it. Wait a minute, you can look better. I know, it, it, you're not supposed to use plastic, but I'm showing you, okay? See, that's how you can tell. All right, so 
we know we're ready. Now, if you keep going, you really will scramble the eggs down in here, and that does not make nice ice cream. One cup of cold, now, it's very cold. French roast coffee, you can use whatever you like. The type does not matter, I happen to like that, that rich, intense, French roasty thing, period. But I, I really like it in this creaminess that happens. All right, now all I'm going to do is run this through one of my strainers and then I'm going to stash it in the refrigerator. Because big, big trick to making homemade ice cream, especially if you want it really creamy. Set this on the counter, let it come to temperature on the counter, okay, to room temperature. Then put it in the refrigerator and let it chill slowly. So yeah, this particular batch probably won't be ready until tomorrow. But if you bring it down very slowly and take it easy, and then make sure that your insert for your ice cream maker is extremely cold, then you'll have a creamier, richer texture. You won't have the ice crystals forming in it from a rapid chill. So that is part of ice cream brilliance. Okay. I'm going to strain this off and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to, I'm actually going to pull a maneuver. I have custard ready for a different kind of ice cream, but, um, and I have coffee ice cream ready. So I'm going to pretend that that middle step is the right stuff. You won't. Okay. So I stuck the chilled custard in the chilled canister and started it. It's not ready yet. It's about halfway. See, you've got something that's a lot like soft serve. When you've got it to right about this stage. Oh, that's good. Yummy. Mmm. When it's about that stage, this is when you want to put in any solid bits. Because you want to, they're going to have to come up to temperature too. So the ice cream maker is going to have to chill those as well. And you want it to turn all the way through, not just be, you know, on the top layer. Not that I've ever done that. You know, you might. All right. That was nothing but about six ounces of uh, semi-sweet chocolate. You can use bittersweet if you like. I, I just like chocolate. Oh. It's going to be so good. All right, we're going to let the ice cream maker have a few more minutes, and then I'm going to come back and eat it. soft serve. See? Perfect. What I like to do, however, is stick it in the freezer for a little while, for several hours. I'd give it about four hours and that'll firm it up. Now, through the magic of television, I hit the freezer and I got some that I had already made. And I guess it's a good thing I moved fast because most of the batch was already gone. Now, I made homemade chocolate syrup. This syrup is a little warm. I gotta say, it's probably gonna melt my ice cream, but that just means I get to eat it faster. All right, so this is the French roast coffee and chocolate chip with an old fashioned homemade chocolate syrup. Excuse me while I have a moment with my ice cream. <laughs> and this stuff 